All right. Video request, video request. Um, so yeah, this is the video request of the week. I'm sorry that it took so um so long to really give this to you. I was trying to do different things, man. I was trying to I was trying to live in my life. Um so the winner for this week is who will win the next European treble? That's a tough question. And it's a question that when I saw it and I knew that this would be the video request, I had to do some meditation. I had to take things back to 1962. Probably not because back then um, a guy of my skin tone would have struggled. Um, but let's take it to 2082. If I'm still alive, doubt it. Um, to answer this question, you've got to think about the future. That's how I approach this question. I've got to think of a team that has a mixture of the present and the future. So let's put out the usual suspects. You've got Real Madrid, you've got Barcelona, you've got Bayern Munich, you've got Juventus. Um, I think those are really it. And I think those are the guys who I would say are in the conversation of winning the treble. Definitely the Barcelona, Real Madrid, you could have put them there. Could have put Bayern there. Dortmund, don't really know. I can't really put them there. And definitely Juventus, you know, because Juventus already have Syria always on lock. They are very much favourites of winning their domestic trophy. So it puts them in a good stead. Um, so I'm going to do this by process of elimination. I eliminated Real Madrid because, yeah, they're always good in the Champions League. But for some reason, they struggle to win La Liga. They've not won La Liga in many years. I think they'll win it this year. But as I say that, they could, they could very easily flop. So La Liga is not something that they really have on lock because, again, a team of no one is for so long. Yeah. For Barcelona, I think that time, their time is gone of that treble. I think the loss of Dani Alves, not having a suitable replacement. And they have really struggled, especially this season. And I just think that going forth, I just don't see a treble there. I see a double there. I see maybe another league there. I don't see something taking them to another treble. I just think they did it with this group of people, I with the Messi, Neymar, and Cannibal. I think was it in the 2015 season. So I think that has now passed. Um, so then we now have between Juventus and Bayern Munich. And I look at Juventus and I think they are very strong candidates. But I just don't know how deep their squad is. Again, for me, they have the league on lock. I think they're always favourites for that cup. And for Champions League, it's di I th so I think for events, it's a good shout. It's a very good shout. But my fear is, what if Dybala goes down? What if Higain goes down? So you're like, if Higain or Dybala goes down, they don't, they don't have any replacements. And don't talk to me about Mandzukic. I'm sorry, I won't listen to you. Then we have Bayern. I know what, what people will say. They've been struggling. They're not as good as they were under Pep. Ancelotti is old. He needs a Zimmer frame, retirement home, blazy blah, blazy blah. They have still great current players. Robin, Ribery. They've still got the most talented striker in the world, Lewandowski. They've got great, a great backline defense. Neuer, Hummels, Alaba, Bat Simpson. Um, Boateng, they've got youth, Renato Sanchez, Joshua Kimmich, um, they've got experience up in there, Alonso. Um, that is why I believe that Bayern Munich are my pick for the next European treble. It may not be this season, it may not be this season, but the blend of old and new Past and future and present, the, how deep their squad is, the players they, 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 they can, that can be brought in. Okay, if Lewandowski goes down, Muller can do that job. If they've got, and you're looking at their wing play, whether you want to have Douglas Costa, you want to have Robin, you want to have Ribery, you want to have Joshua Kimmich, who is versatile as well. I mean, you want to have Renato Sanchez. They've got so many amazing options that. I believe that Bayern Munich, they'll get it right. Ancelotti will get it right. And I believe that they can win that European treble. The league, because I just think that league still domestically, Bayern are still the team to beat. They're still the kings. 
and Dortmund, the closest cha cha challengers, or who are assumed to be the closest challengers, you know, these guys are just, they're basically drawing everything. They drew against Santa Claus last week. So that's, 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 that's where Dortmund are at right now. Um, and even, you're looking at the cup as well. That's always, always a dicey one that can go either way. But I still think that it's still Bayern Munich. If they are focused and everything is on form and they don't have too many key injuries, they, can, they, they will always be very strong favorites to win the cup. I said to people, Juventus are still one of my very picks for the Champions League. But I see no reason why Bayern Munich can, can, can do it. They can easily win it. They've got the team to win it. They've got the players to win it. They've got the manager to win it. The manager has won it twice already. But I just I look at the squad because I, I you need to give me a squad, and when I see that squad of Bayern, the guy say no, that is a squad that can ride, like the Phoenix, you know. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go out on that limb, and for me, I don't think we're gonna see a European treble this season. Um, I don't see that happening. So whoever wins the Champions League, I don't think they will win both their league and their cup. So if you ever win the Champions League this season. Maybe they don't win the cup. If Bayern Munich win the Champions League this season, maybe they don't win the domestic cup. Or maybe they don't win their league. But for Dortmund, I don't know. But this is just look for this is who's going to win it the next time. So maybe next season, two seasons, three seasons. Um, I just say that for Bayern, man. I look at those young players. Jo Joshua Kimmich is one of the most exciting young talents in the world. And he's young. Renato Sanchez, again, a young very, very gifted player who's an amazing dribbler and based with the balance. These people will only get better. You know, these people will only get better. Tego Alcantara, he's still a pretty nice age. Lewandowski, he's still a good age. And Ribery and Robin, people say that they were done. They're still playing some of the best football. Ribery is still... Ribery is reminding us of that 2013 thing. So yeah, man. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say it's going to be ban Munich to... Um, Keep on that next European treble. To vote for the next video that you want to see me do for the next video request, click there for to head to the websites to vote for the next video and to vote for um, other topics. And hit there to subscribe to the channel. Stay black.